welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I went to the Dollar Tree. So today was the shopping day. When I um, if you are willing to stick around to the end of this video, I'd like to just chat a little bit. And if not, I understand. I'll let you know when the video's over and when I'm gonna chat. So um, let's get into the hole. So I was kind of disappointed. May is cystic fibrosis month. It's other months too, but it's cystic fibrosis month. And I had bought a ribbon and I couldn't find purple mesh. So I bought a ribbon form. I wanted to make a purple cystic fibrosis awareness ribbon um, wreath. So I picked up four of the purple mesh. I have made a thyroid cancer awareness ribbon or support ribbon um, for my sister. I have the stuff to make another one for my other sister. And um, I also wanted to make a, uh, cause that's in September. I wanted to make a uh, cystic fibrosis awareness ribbon for uh, May. So just couldn't find purple. I think everybody else had the same intentions. <laughs> so I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, this is, That is an upcoming DIY. And then today I saw this. I'm almost embarrassed to show you the DIY. <laughs> but they have this, it's on the plastic frame. It's like, like done already. You could totally take this unicorn and just stick him on here. Um, you can also do um, other things and I'll tell you. But I picked this up, I thought it was super cute. They also had like the wire garlands. I did take some videos and pictures um, of stuff too. So if you wanna see that, uh, that's usually at the end of the hole. So I saw this and I was like, okay. I love the USA, home of the brave, 4th of July. I love this because each one of these could be on a wreath. Each one of these can be an emblem on an artwork. So that's actually like three for a dollar of embellishments, which usually you can't find. Um, if you like your Americana decor up for more than the 4th of July, like I do, I told, I've told you this guys plenty of times. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Jerry Ann. I think I have something stuck between my two front teeth. <laughs> but I like to decorate my home from Memorial Day through to September 11th. Um, so more of like these kinds of things are actually more of like what I like to decorate with. And then I have a couple of select 4th of July things that actually come out um, after Flag Day for the 4th of July. Um, so I really like that because that's like three embellishments for $1. I'll buy that for $1. <laughs> I was so excited to see this at my store. So if you have no idea, if you don't watch other people's, that was Jim, hi Jim. If you don't watch other people's hauls, you may not even know this exists. And I wish I could have taken a picture, but I'll be honest with you. They had one broom up, which I'm gonna show you. And then they had these dust mops. Um, and then they had handles. So what this is, is a, this is a new broom system that they have at the Dollar Tree. It is much longer of a broom handle than any of the Dollar Tree products that exist. And then you could switch out the heads. They have the screw in heads. This one you could see is already, they tape it off I think so that you don't attach it and secretly steal a whole mop. But I got Jim a push broom and a long pole for, the push brooms for the outside, like the porch and stuff. Um, I usually do it and he's like, oh, cause this broom, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it's mom's old house broom. So maybe he'll do it now. But I also got this because you guys know I bought him the the dustpan on a stick. Well, the dustpan on the stick that they sell is really short. Baby, can you grab me that dustpan on the stick and see if it's interchangeable um, with this long pole? Um, Did you put it away or is no. it right there still? Um, so I thought if we can interchange it with this pole, it wouldn't be so short. So if you could see like, if I could turn you towards him. I know there's a lot of stuff on the floor. We're still redecorating. Oh, I was gonna have you show them how low you have to bend to the ground. Mm. So this does not work with this pole. Not exactly that low, but that doesn't that that doesn't work with this. But can I ask you to do me before you screw back in? Oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I just have a I just have the Dollar Tree mop handle broom in there too. So I was gonna say try that one. It's longer than that, but but you see how he's kind of like tilted over from doing that, and then when you go to broom and stuff, it's just uncomfortable. So I thought we would try this, but you know now it doesn't work. So, but I did get him this push broom head. At my Dollar Tree today, they had like the chamois cloth from the car almost, like that fuzzy white cloth. And they had one that holds like a Swiffer wet pad or 
you know, like that. So I thought that was neat. And also with that cleaning products. Why are you handing me a horse brush? <laughs> the world's largest dustpan. But I actually got it for that purpose, for it to go with that outside broom. Um, that outside broom is nice and wide, so I thought it would be good to have like a wide dustpan. I love the wide dustpans. I love dustpans with rubber tips. If you're young, you probably have no idea that they even sold like dustpans without rubber tips, but that's like, my whole childhood was like literally chasing dust from under the dustpan. No joke. And then you'd end up getting like an index card and cleaning it up with the index card. I don't know. The other big thing that I got, and I'll show you so I can get it out of the way. They had the really long bamboo skewers. These are so great for crafting, but they're also great for s'mores and camping. I'm just saying. And it doesn't have to be camping. You can roast marshmallows over your gas propane stove. I mean, barbecue, excuse me. Um, it's just safer to have them on really long sticks. But a lot of people use these for crafting because they're super sturdy. They're super long. You get 12 in a pack. And I want to guess, my professional opinion says that they're at least two feet. They actually, they actually might be 30 inches. I wonder if it says. It does not say. It does not say. But um, those are pretty neat. So I picked up two. I kept asking the manager. Do you guys have those yet? Do you have those yet? And he's like, nope, not yet, not yet. I thought this was really neat. I was like excited to see it. I've never seen anybody haul it. That doesn't mean it hasn't existed. <laughs> I just haven't seen it. It is a sponge holder. It's clear and it's got holes on the bottom and it's got suction cups on the back and it holds like your wet sponge so it could drip. But I didn't get it to hold my wet sponge. This- You are a <laughs> This year at the Dollar Tree, I found a, um, you know, those loofahs, but on the back of the loofah was like a, uh, you know, like a scrub exfoliator type of pad thing. And it only has like a little tiny loop on it. And there's no place in my bathroom to hang that. So I was like, this would be perfect for that. I can just stick it in there. It's sort of like a flat sponge hand thingy. I hope you know what I'm saying. So I got that to put in my shower, but I thought that was really neat. I found the bonus buckets in white. I got these just for like little storage um, on, around, on and around my desk area. Um, you get three, I've seen them whole, uh, Kiernan from Thrifted Living. She like redid all of her storage in this with little labels on them. I thought it was super cute. But when I saw that, I was like, yes, please. I picked Jimmy up some things that he likes to have. Um, this is a multi-use keychain, but really, it's a bottle opener and a flashlight. That's the two uses, um, unless I'm missing something. This is bottle opener and flashlight. So it's got an LED light. It came in different colors. I picked him up the red one because red's his favorite color. I bought him this too. He likes these kinds of things. This is an eight in one multi-use knife. It has a knife, a bottle opener, a can opener, a little mini screwdriver, all that kind of stuff. So I picked that up for him as well. And then the last thing I got him is this folding um, knife. Well, this is like a box cutter sort of situation. He has one that is for like is great for opening tape on boxes, but I thought this would be good just when we go out in the yard, if he ever needs to like cut down a branch that he wasn't prepared to or open the strapping on the bags or something, you know, he can use this. Um, and it's foldable, so it's protected in his pocket while he's, like, while he's using it. Let me show you this really quick. I picked up two Niagara gallons, I think they're gallons, of water. Um, normally I get the Glacier, whatever that they had there today, but I like the Niagara water as well. Um, but I was like, oh, let me try it. One of the things I do when we travel is, you know, I drink uh, 32 ounces, like I drink 24 ounces of water first thing in the morning for my digestion. Um, and I bring my own water because if you have to pay the water, pay the price for the water in the hotel, it's like not worth it. So I always buy a Dollar Tree gallon. I don't always, sometimes I go to the Dollar Tree when I'm in the city, I get a gallon and then I just use that at the hotel. Usually I bring my own cup, I'll do that. And if I don't bring my own cup cause I'm flying or whatever, then I go to like, Son not Sonic, Sonic has styrofoam, like 7-Eleven or someplace like a gas station that has like the plastic refillable cups. And I just use that, I wash it and use that. So I think, let's leave that for now. Um, I'm gonna show you mom, I got these from mom. Mom's starting to do some painting um, and I thought she could use these for that. These are mini solo cups. These always remind me of Mary Fry. Hi Mary, if you're watching. 
Um, but mom just wanted like, she wants just a little cup of water to like, just like when she wants to add water to her paint to thin it out. Um, and I thought these would be perfect. You get 20 for a dollar and they're disposable if she forgets to clean it out. I don't have to worry about that. They had a new palette. Now this might not be new to you. This is new to me. I know that the six little palettes is a great deal. Don't get me wrong. But what I love about this palette, first of all, am I holding it right? <laughs> no, I'm not. I think this is for lefties. I think this is a lefties palette. That's messed up, man. That's messed up. I don't even know if they, I don't even know if they planned that. Cause you're supposed to hold it like this. Do you guys see what I'm doing? No, you don't. You're supposed to hold it like, why am I so far away? Did I move the camera and I didn't even notice it? How long have I not been on the camera? Sorry about that. But you're supposed to hold it, right? I'm not making that up. I, you know what? I'm, I'm having like a mental block right now. Anyway, regardless. What I love about this one is they give you the um, six, paint cups but they give you four mixing trays so basically what it is is you put like say white and pink white and red and you need to make pink you take a little white take a little red and you can mix your pink there um, and that's really what those intentions are for but obviously you could use them for four other small amounts of paint if you want to um, but I picked that up because I thought that was super neat and I never saw it before you know usually I just paint on my mat um, just to keep from having to like wash stuff I don't know I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I picked up this stylus. Um, it is an embossing stylus. I bought the piercing tool um, and I thought this was like the same thing and I realized it's not, this is an embossing stylus. So it's got a fine ball on one side and a thicker ball on the other. And embossing is like basically whenever you make an impression in paper or foil or whatever, um, that's embossing, um, like engraving. A relief is when it comes up above the thing and embosses when it goes down on the thing, that's all. So I picked that up because it'd be fun to have in the in my toolkit with my accoutrement. So if you've been around for a while, you know that I hold these wooden crosses. I got a lot of stuff today, sorry. It's just all kind of like mishmash, let me get it out. If you've been around for a while, you know I hold these wooden crosses. Um, they're nice, thick, and chunky. I really, really like them. I just want to make sure I have all of them. Sorry, not to be rude. Um, they're nice and thick and chunky. These are perfect for making like wood bead rosaries. Perfect. But we have like a little cross collection going on in my heart here. So um, I picked up another one to do DIYs with. But while I was there, they had this cool shape, which I have not seen before. Um, and it's really, really thick if you guys don't know. And you can tell it's wood. Obviously, it's plywood it's like a uh, laminate but it's really cool I think they just glued a whole bunch of basswood together it was really neat um they had one heart for some reason this heart shape just reminds me of primitive Americana decor um just th that elongated shape that really does what it reminds me of so I picked up that one heart that they had I picked up two rounds because I didn't see rounds before um these would be great for ornaments these would be great for really anything because they're round you can do really the sky's the limit. You can think about all of the uh, wreath embellishments that you can make and still, but I got all three stars they had in the store. Coincidentally, red, white, and blue maybe, I don't know, but uh, they had three, I picked up three. I really just wanna like make whitewash stains. I wanted to make a red and a white and a blue whitewash stain. After doing the stars tutorial on my channel, I just got inspired to like, really, this is what I wanna do, so let's see. I found them and I was excited. So hopefully you can find them too. That's my wish. My wish always for you is to find what you're looking for. And not to quote Bono from YouTube, but sometimes you have to leave the Dollar Tree and say, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. <laughs> um, this, never saw in my store before. I have a pack that somebody had sent me of similar ones, but I've never bought these in person. At least I don't think I have. But these are the wood uh, stems, but these are like the squatty ones. As you can tell, they're like the squatty ones, not the tall ones. I believe I've been gifted the tall ones, 
um, but these are so cool. I have some wood discs that I got at Hobby Lobby with a coupon and they ended up being just about the same amount of money worth, like value. So, um, these were exceptionally beautiful to the point where I bought two packs. Are those not Jerry stickers? Hello. They're all black and white and shades of gray. They have stripes, polka dots, they have ginghams, they have uh, what you guys would call buffalo check, but that's smaller, so it's gingham, stripes, all the things. And I just thought there's some on both sides. You know, excuse me, you get 124 pieces per pack and I picked up two packs. A lot of people do say to me about lettering, they have trouble lettering, but I'm like, you know, stickers are okay, stickers aren't bad. They had my crocheted lace ribbon back. I'm so excited. I picked up three of those because this is something that I use a lot in farmhouse decor. Um, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know I just did a major reorganizing of my pantry. I just created a pantry and I bought all of these baskets and I wanted to label them and I was like, well, it's like when you look for something and then God says, here, how try this. You get four, these are nice. These are like the thicker wood. They're not the paper round ones like we have. And they're chalkboards, so you can change what's in the basket. I just used my washable chalk marker and I got four packages, uh, five packages of the this shape. And then I got picked up, oh no, I got four pack, I thought so. I got four packages of this shape and I got two packages of hearts. The hearts we've used the DIYs before at Christmas time and Valentine's day. So they're good to have, but you know, love, 365 days out of the year, my friend. Um, I found this at the register, it was really cute. It is a multi-colored click pen. And it's got a little stamp on the end. Mm. Uh, this stamp is a little unicorn. They had all different unicorns. Um, I just thought they were super cute. This one is an orange and hot pink and they had all different colors as well. Um, I picked up these I am going to do a DIY with this I already mentioned it on my channel so I'm fine with it if anybody wants to do it first but a gift for Father's Day um, I'm gonna print I'm gonna make a printable for you guys of uh, the, the footprints you know footprints in the sand I was walking it was one set of footprints that whole thing so I'm gonna create that but the other the, the first flip-flop sign that came out actually had the straps like in the board popping out these ones didn't so I think what I'm gonna do with these ones is make like a pair um, to do something you know and then I was kind of like oh do I take the one flip-flop with the bump and max it with the one with the thing I don't know what I'm gonna do but I picked up two of those this one happens to say Aloha they only had two in the store so I picked them both up no they had three I left one behind um, it says Aloha it's got a toucan a flamingo and a blue parrot the blue parrot is beautiful and it's got different kinds of tropical flowers and leaves on it. It's really cute. It was really cute. Um, so I picked up two of those. I finally broke down and got one of the triangle frames. I did see something that I wanted to do with it. I don't remember now, but sometimes I put an inventory marker in my brain um, for impromptu trips to the Dollar Tree. And I was like, oh, you know what? That's a cute idea. Next time you ever see one of those triangle signs, pick it up. So. This is really cute. I know I didn't buy these before, but I have shown them on my channel in like the shop with me portion. But this one says cool and clever. And it's got a little tiny fox on the top and it's a triangle frame, um, which you know, it's got like a removable back and they give you a, a D ring hanger on it. Um, and I just thought that was super cute and I can't remember what I wanna do with it, but I will share with you what I do. I picked up a bunch of blue flowers when I went to go do my Americana DIYs and I was like, I had tons of red left, tons of white, and no blue left. So I was like, let me just grab the bunch of blue roses. You get six blue roses. They also have daisies and carnations in my store. So I picked those up as well. This is another DIY possibility that I wanna do. I love this giant crab. It's very cartoonish. Um, I'm a cancer and that's how a symbol is a crab, but that's not why I got it. I grew up on the South shore of Long Island and my dad used to say, how do you feed eight people with one chicken leg? And he told me, well, he used to say, tell me, um, you throw it in a crab trap. So that was the thing. We used to have crabs plentiful when we were growing up. I, I, don't, I don't not care for them right now, but I've had my fill of crabs. Some fancy seafood I miss, but you know, crabs, I can, you guys yeah. have it. You guys have it. Um, so these are cute. I picked up two of them. They're like these felt 
little decor pieces. And I have some previous crab stuff that I have purchased already. Um, but there's this really cute, weird video that was in like the early 2000s. Um, this weird Joe Coffee. No, what was the Weebles? W E B W E E B L S. And they do these really graphic cartoons. <laughs> And the, whenever I see a crab, I get the song stuck in my head that goes, I got a big bag of crabs here. I'm going to put them in my mouth. So yeah. And he puts a lot of crabs in his mouth and they bleed and it's crazy. I don't know. It's weird. But at the time I had a 20 something brother, a 17 year old brother or 18 year old, like depending on what year it was. And that's the kind of stuff we were into. So. Y'all weird. <laughs> I also took pictures of these. I think they're so cute. They're tiny little wood box arts that have glass and glitter and this one is the one i picked because it's black it says sparkle with all your heart and i can't tell what they are anymore it might just be swirls of paint it might be birds <laughs> but they have ones with unicorns and mermaids um and hopefully i remember to put the pictures up here so finally the last thing that i bought is my favorite and i'm going to share it with you i I'm saving my favorite for last and I don't normally do that, but a few of you have sent me messages and asked me if I've seen these and I've said, uh, no, but don't send them to me because <laughs> Jesus wanted me to have it. I will be there with money while it's there. I know, right? Red truck dish towels. Could it be more perfect? And he's got a rooster on his top of his truck. So yes, it could be more perfect. I mean, it couldn't be more perfect. Excuse me. So these are the 60, 47, 49, 59, hi. Um, let me get my glasses really quick, sorry. I should have my glasses ready. But these are not 100% cotton, but they're cotton enough. They don't have a microfiber feel to them. They're 59 cotton, 41 polyester. And this is what it looks like. And I have just died and gone to farm house heaven right whether you accent with apples whether you accent with roosters whether you just accent even if you accent with lemons like the the rolling hay in the back could even be like hey there is i'm guessing that there's supposed to be pears or yellow apples back here but hey that could be a basket of lemons i'm not mad at that um and i love the picket fence everything not the picket fence it's not a picket fence it's a uh... yeah i can't remember you tell me, you guys tell me what kind of fence it is. Um, it's so weird, I can't remember. Poland stance, no, I didn't mind. Anyway, but I just thought it's so cute and the print is on both sides. And of course I bought two dish towels, but more importantly, they had the dishcloths that I love. These dishcloths have this nylon mesh in the back um, and I love these for drying my sink, for cleaning my appliances. I just love them for like everyday um, duty. I like to dry my, if you're new and you're like, dry your sink, yeah. One of the ways you don't have to clean your sink as often is if you dry it when it's wet, you won't get water stains on it, you won't get pitting, that kind of stuff. Just something I learned and I pass on, so. That's everything for the Dollar Tree. I'm so excited. I did really, really good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully I wasn't cut off too much during the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Anybody who might be interested in seeing everything that I got at the Dollar Tree today. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe, which is right here. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And if you want, stick around. I'm going to do show a little bit of the shop with me, whatever's left over that I didn't share already. And um, as always, you guys take care. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye.
also I wanted to show you how exciting that I got to meet Pam from Cuba. We were social distancing, so this was the best we could do for a selfie. But hi, Pam. Thank you for meeting me. If you guys ever see me out and about, you can always come up and introduce yourself. I love to meet you guys. And if you are going to stick around for a little chat, I just want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on in the world. I am not going to get political. It's not about politics for me. It's just about it's just about human rights. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on on the world these last many days. Um, I have been contemplating. I have been praying. I have been sharing the Black Lives Matter and black activists and artists and just been reposting for them on social media. Yesterday was Tuesday. We had Blackout Tuesday, which is why you didn't see a video last night. Um, I didn't know about Blackout Tuesday. I post my videos at midnight here. So technically my Tuesday video goes up at midnight or 12.01 a.m. But I didn't know about the movement until after I had posted my midnight video. Um, the movement started by two African-American women who are rec in the record company and they really started out being like the shut down, no media. Basically it was like go quiet uh, and it grew into something else. Um, the purpose was to post, uh, to, to, to not fill social media with our everyday things, to just to focus on what the cause was yesterday. So I hope I tried to do that. I tried to educate myself like a crazy person yesterday. Um, I just really felt like, you know, you think you're doing all things good and then you hear other people's perspectives of the things that you say may not be taken the way that you meant them. And many of the things that I, many of the language that I'd used in the past, people had said yesterday that though we appreciate where you were coming from, this is how we take it and this is what it means to us. And what I realized yesterday, which is also part of our exchange and the exchanges that I have with my husband is, it isn't always about what you say, it's how it's perceived. So I, I say that to you guys because I do get things in the comments that um, can be construed as rude. You think that they're, you think that your intentions are to be constructively critical I don't find any criticism to be constructive because it's criticism. If you have another idea or a different thing that I could do, you can make a suggestion without being critical. You can say, have you tried being a vegetarian? I'm a vegetarian and I love the way it makes my body feel. Without saying, you gotta stop eating meat. You know, there's, so you, see, you see the same language, the same words, but different language. That's how a person perceives it. So. I wanted to just say that if I lost some followers on my vlog channel and gained some followers on my main channel, which is weird, this channel here, but I really want you to know something from the deep, deep, deepest bottom of my heart. God spoke to me yesterday, and I don't mean like I got it prophesized, but he spoke to me through all of the messages that I heard, and I felt it weighing on my heart to stand up for those who could not stand up if you're going to make this into a political thing then you go right ahead there are two analogies that i want to give you that i heard that really helped me see it differently that i could explain it differently one of them is when someone says black lives matter and you say all lives matter you're negating that black lives matter we know that all lives matter that includes black lives so nobody's saying that your life doesn't matter. You can promote one cause without negating someone else's cause. And I say that too because I've had a few messages when I mentioned Pride Month. I've had a few people message me about the military. Why do I'm not anything I'm not against gays, but why do they get a whole month and the military doesn't get a whole month? Well, first of all, military.com says that May is Military Appreciation Month. Secondly, just because you're promoting one cause does not mean you're negating anybody else's good works. Second analogy is a burning house. Right now, black lives are the burning house. When you say black lives matter, 
and or if they say black lives matter and you say well all lives matter that is that like you're living in a neighborhood and that house is on fire and when the fire truck comes you go well what about my house and then, okay but your house isn't on fire we're not going to deal with that right now but no but what about my house you understand the difference so that is a huge analogy i like that one because it's very visual and a lot of people are visual learners so we're not saying that your house doesn't matter we're not saying that your life doesn't matter obviously all lives matter that's the point but right now the society parts of society parts of the police not all of the police as you know i'm i have police in my family there's I, there's so many good cops i worked at the police department I, this is not an entire, there is no black and white situations. There's all shades of gray. There's all different good people and there's all different people who aren't good. Right now, Black Lives Matter is a movement because black lives are that burning house. They are getting treated. They are on fire. We need to help them. We need to help them now. We need to help them every day until the point where there is no them. There's just us. Because right now in my heart, and it has been really for a very long time, it has always been just us. But that's not the way the world sees it. And we are mankind. We're the human race. But until we can all see that and not see the color of a person's skin, by judging others but you can see the differences that we all have our multicultural differences it's not about visually seeing it's about how you act when you see the person of a different culture or a different skin tone it's how you react to them it's how they make you feel when you're with them do you feel nothing but love do you feel nothing but admiration for their good works do you feel nothing but seeing the soul that's in them their heart that's what it's all about when we can all do that to each other then, then we'll be better. But until then, we have to fight for what the cause that needs to be fought for, okay? But the last thing I'm gonna leave you with, because many of you are Christian, is the story of the Good Samaritan. There are two types of sin. I mean, there's many, but there's two types of sin, the sin of omission and the sin, the sin of commission. So we all know about the sin of commission. That's when you do something that's sinful and you recognize it. So using, using racial slurs, using... Uh, oppression you know what you're doing you're acting sinful that's one thing but when you don't do something you stand behind, you stand aside while this stuff is being done that's the sin of of omission where you're not standing up and when it comes to the story of the good samaritan the people who left the traveler on the side of the road they committed the sin of omission it's the Good Samaritan who actually helped the person. By ignoring him, the traveler who was wounded and beaten, you, it is sinful in God's eyes. It is sinful that you just ignored the plight of the, the pain of others. Now, we all know the Ten Commandments because no matter where you study in Judeo-Christian beliefs, you know about the Ten Commandments. But if you're a Christian, you know about the Great Commandment. Love thy neighbor as you love me, or do unto others as you'll have them do, do unto me, or love, that, love thy neighbor as you love yourself. It's worded differently in different texts, but it all means the same thing. Treat others how you want to be treated. If you see somebody of a different color and you don't know how to react, imagine you're that person who's different. And how would you feel and how would you want to be treated? So I am, thank you for listening if you stayed around to this long. I feel like I want to do a secret giveaway for those of you who stood around and listened. Should I do that? Should I do that, Jim? I don't hmm. know that. You know what? I'm going to do a secret giveaway. If you stuck around to the end of the video and listened to me, get on my soapbox and get off my soapbox. But um, I think I will. So if you just put hashtag, which is the number symbol for if you're older or the pound sign, if you're really old, <laughs> with uh, BLM in it in the comments, which means Black Lives Matter, um, I'll enter you into a giveaway. Um, it's gonna be a secret, I don't know what it is. Maybe it'll be a gift card. Maybe it'll be some stuff, we'll see. I'm gonna leave it open for about a week or a month. We'll see. So um, 
listen, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for listening to me say my piece. Hopefully I've not infuriated anybody, but I've only enlightened you and opened your eyes because that's all my intentions are. Not pointing fingers, not placing blame. That's nothing I do. Nothing is gained from blame. You know, I've said that a thousand times. So I love you as always. You guys take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye.